What's up YouTube's K Reese here and uh, don't really know what this video is going to be or what the title of it is going to be. Um, I just kind of tell y'all what's going on here. I got my out here in the S2000. Uh, what I've had going on is um, popping clicking noise. I've looked it up um, online like you know this is this is my first S2000. I don't even I don't even know what what it could be I have an idea it's probably from what I've researched the propeller shaft um, could be like the they call them the sit their CV shafts but Honda the manual refers to them as drive shafts the drive shaft traditionally on most cars um, they refer to this as the propeller shaft so what I'm thinking of it sounds like the propeller shaft is that kind of popping noise this constant um, if you put the clutch in, uh, put it in neutral, let it roll as it really carries on. If you put it under a load, going down the road cruising, it's not so bad. Um, I've seen some other videos on YouTube where people have, you know, shown like, you know, what what the clicking sounds like, gotten up underneath it. Um, what I'm gonna do is jack this car up. We're gonna look at it and uh, see what it is. Um, I'm just gonna check some play up underneath it, <coughs> hoping this video is gonna help some people out um like i said i don't really want to title it yet um you know say what this video is i'm sure i'll have a title up when i get done because i'll figure out what's wrong with it but um i just want to kind of get this started for y'all um and if it is the propeller shaft i'm gonna do a video on how to replace it uh same with the cv shafts or the drive shafts as honda calls them for the s2000 uh, because i haven't seen a video on either one of those so i'm hoping that's going to help somebody out but y'all just stay tuned go ahead jack this thing up get up underneath it make it safe um block the wheels and uh, we'll see what's going on so y'all check it out first this thing's been parked a while i've been i've been driving the f-150 since this has been parked to go to work and stuff but hopefully this thing will still start fires right up a little weak though all right so we're gonna go ahead and pull it over here by the shop and get started all right, y'all, so getting started, you can see I got low pro jack. You're definitely gonna need one of those uh, regular jack, probably uh, depending on how high I can get it up with that one. Uh, some jack stands. Uh, you see the bricks here, went ahead. All four corners, all four wheels. Just went ahead, knocked those up under there. So uh, car won't roll anywhere, but I've got it pretty, pretty level in the spot here in the yard. Um, like I said, you know, this is kind of some shade tree mechanic work. Uh, so anybody should be able to do this. If I can do it, anybody should be able to do it. But um, you got four jack points here on your car. Um, you know, for like a regular lift. If you can see here, you can see this spot here. Not, don't jack it here on the actual car, on the body. But uh, these parts here that run along, these are your jack points. So um, front and rear. You got the same things. So go ahead and start jacking from here. You can see it's this part. This You see more material here on the metal. Y'all can see that. That's where you want to jack from. So we go ahead and start jacking this thing up. All right. So as you can see here, I got the vehicle up in the air. Back in. Uh, jack stands. I couldn't get them up high enough with that low pro jack. So I went ahead with the some blocks and some bricks two on that side two on this side got it up pretty high so y'all can see actually i had a little rattle going on back here i was trying to figure out what it was this nvidia exhaust you can see one of the hangers here like the weld broke loose from right there they just left this piece in here you can see where the where the weld came loose but uh it was just it was in this hanger and it was just I, that's what i kept hearing this tapping sound couldn't figure out what it was so anyway tapping sound will be gone at least um so the bill steens bill steen bill stein i don't know how to say it um so anyway here we go i'm gonna go ahead and start with the little shake test you can see the cv shafts here or the the drive shafts as they like to call them um it doesn't feel like there's any like play this that just feels normal to me. Um, I'm gonna check everything out. I'll let y'all know what I find. 
all right y'all so what i had found and uh my kind of my my suspicion anyway to begin with was that it was the uh prop shaft i am pretty certain that's what it is i'm going to show y'all um i went ahead and pulled and there's not a lot of play on that shaft nor this shaft they both feel as they should but now i'm going to rotate the wheels rotates the the prop shaft and i want y'all to listen so i'm going to bring y'all Hopefully y'all can hear this like I can. Y'all can see that. Just listen. You can hear that clicking sound. And that's what... I've heard that sound for a while since I've had the car. I just thought, you know, the drive shaft just a little bit of play, but it's become so bad now that it's, uh, I believe it needs to be replaced. Y'all can get y'all right up under here. Y'all can listen to that when I turn this wheel. Very sloppy sounding. Um, I want to kind of It's the sound. It sounds. It sounds like. This sounds like crap, guys. Y'all just listen to this. I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it. Sounds like there's just a. You move it in and out here. Back and forth. It just. This shaft is worn out. It's got a lot of play in it. Sounds like. Front and back. So. Looks like we got some special allen head bolts here we'll have to remove and we can pull this shaft out and it looks like i know the guy before me that had this car said that he replaced the clutch and it looks like you know to replace the clutch i'm sure they they pulled the drive you know they had to pull this prop shaft and that's where these reference marks are so i was going to make reference marks but i'm not going to now being that these are already here but here i'll just turn this again and y'all can see that if you compare this play here, it's barely, you know, the wheels aren't even turning yet, so. Definitely, I feel like it's this shaft, so. I'm going to pull this. To pull this shaft, you have to remove the, uh, the prop shaft mounting bracket. This bracket right here, it's like a safety bracket. It's got two bolts. We'll pull those out and, um, we'll go ahead and I should tell y'all what size bolts these are. Um, it's like they're Allen bolts. Um, hit them with some PB blaster. And uh, it's like a, a bolt with a, almost like a ring. So it's like two here. It's like you got two here. and So two, four, about six bolts here and on the back and we can pull this shaft out. Y'all stay tuned. All right, so this is a six millimeter Allen head. Y'all can see I got this one loosened up. They're on there pretty tight. And uh, only way I did this is I took this this Allen head you see here, and I just put a um, box end wrench on it, took it and turned it counterclockwise. And so these are the bolts here that we want to remove. You see, there's these little plates here also. So. Take this bolt, and it just screws out. And this is the actual bolt itself here with this plate. Now, I'm going to have a hard time with this one. As you can see, somebody messed the inside of this up. They didn't get it on there right or something. Um, so I'm going to have to try to, this one's going to be a pain. I have to get this one off and replace this bolt somehow. So. We'll start on start on these other ones. All right, so to give you all a little update on what's going on under here, what I'm having to do, I've got the e-brake set, and what I'm having to do is uh, put some, take some bolts out and then get out, get up from underneath the car, go in, take the e-brake off, rotate the 
rotate the wheel over here a little bit to get this drive shaft to turn around, then pull the e-brake again, then get back under it. On top of that, I have, I'm out here with the vice grips, this little um, star head set here, as y'all can see that, and this Allen wrench, because some of these, y'all can see, they're just worn out, like I showed you that other one. And then on top of that, this, at the, the front of the drive shaft here, right after the, uh, transmission there was a, they had a damn 10 millimeter bolt through it and it's just so you know guys that's one thing that just drives me crazy you know if somebody's gonna take the time to do something do it right and what's even worse is I'm I'm pretty positive the guy that had this car before me was not he was not very mechanically inclined and I know that he took this to a shop and so the bad thing is is that a shop did this work whenever they replaced the clutch you know, because you've got your reference marks here. You know, like I was showing y'all. So they're the ones that did this. They, they, all these, all these bolts here, the holes are wrung out. So the Allen wrench doesn't fit. So they didn't do something right. They weren't using the right size or something. These bolts are supposed to be replaced whenever you replace this stuff, which they didn't. And they ran them in there and apparently broke one of them off. So they just took a 10 millimeter bolt um, and put through it. And it was actually coming out the back side here, you know, that there's a little bit that extends past. But this thing was probably, you know, a quarter of an inch past the uh, shaft. It's just, it's just slack and sloppy work. Pisses me off. And just don't do it. Just don't do it. Alright y'all, so with all these jacked up bolts removed, now all you have to do is go ahead and just lower this drive shaft. Or propeller shaft, as Honda calls it. And I actually, as you can see here, I went ahead and I left this guard in place because, as you can see right now, it's just kind of, I can just balance it here and it keeps it from crashing down on you when you take these last bolts out. And I believe if I go ahead, I can take and actually remove this out the back side of the car. And I'm going to try to do that right now. All right, so take your shaft here, like I said, kept the guard in place. A little bit of a little bit of weight to it but not too heavy and here you go this is it so we're gonna have got it removed you can see this is your rear of the vehicle your rear end swing you around and the back of the transmission right here so now we can go ahead and see about finding a new one and how much it costs all right so got the old drive shaft here this war slap out y'all can hear that up here on the bench and today just got the i would say new in but it's used um got it on a seller off a of seller on ebay uh we'll see how it is um i messaged him ask him uh how many miles on s2000 it came out of he said 80,000. I mean, it could have been 180,000. I don't have any way of knowing. I'm going to take their word for it, but it says it's in good condition. It's supposed to have a warranty, so let's open it up and let's lay some eyes on it and see what this thing looks like. Well, they get an A-plus for packaging this thing. You see all the all the foam in here we got, and you got, ah, uh, it's even wrapped in, the, in some bubble wrap, too, so I just love popping those things. But anyway, ah. Uh, heavy so this is it let's go ahead and get it up on the bench all right so new old and everything looks to be the same looks like the exact same part it did come off of a 2001 ap1 just like mine so everything looks good uh just looking at this first glance does not look looks like this is um it may have been it's kind of funny it looks like it may have been off in the past just from your reference mark here but it doesn't line up here it's here so I, I just think that's kind of funny um but anyway moving these it's it's hard to really say and without you know busting this thing open and seeing what's inside it which I'm not going to do for this video um, this one the old one if y'all can hear that 
there's just a lot more rattle it just feels looser on the inside compared to when you shake this one compared to this one it's really hard to tell guys over the video you just have to take my word for it it feels better um we'll see how it performs when we put it on the car uh, only thing I have left to do now, y'all, is those bolts that came with this. Um, I've got to get some. I'm going to buy 12 new ones because the other ones were shot and they should have been replaced um, last time, but weren't. And y'all saw what I had to go through for that. So I'm going to do it right and uh, get some new bolts. All right. So after going to several different shops, I finally was able to go to a, a store in another town nearby called uh, Hose and Equipment and they actually carry these bolts. This is a M8 by 1.25 millimeter, 65 millimeters in length. I got 12 of these because the old ones were destroyed from some idiot that doesn't know how to use a wrench. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead with our new bolts, put this drive shaft in. All right, so make sure that when you put your bolts in that you have your brackets back in place and that's how they go. And this end right here with kind of this, with these, um. I don't know what to call them, but they they extend out. This goes on the front up here, but the uh, the tail shaft of the transmission. The flat part goes back here on the rear end, and uh, with all the brackets and the bolts in, six millimeter Allen head, for, and this is what it is from the factory. We're gonna go ahead and just tighten these up. And I do have a buddy of mine up here in the car, who is going to help me pull the e-brake when I start tightening these down because they will turn. And I noticed that from, uh, if you remember the last time when I took them out, uh, I had to keep getting out from underneath the car and tighten it up. So just um, some advice to y'all, if y'all are planning on doing this, an extra set of hands helps out. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these down. Hopefully this is fixes our problem. All right, so the new shaft is in. I went ahead, got everything tightened up real good. I did use that uh, Allen wrench that y'all can see up there, along with the uh, uh, 17 millimeter box in, open end wrench. And I just put the box in on just to turn it and get it a little bit tighter. But um, I've got it started up out here, and I got my buddy up here, he's gonna help me. Um, I just wanted to show y'all this, what it looks like rolling, and, um, and there's definitely no popping on this shaft, so I think we, saved it we got a good fix here um you know hundred dollars versus a thousand for an uh a aftermarket doorman shaft that wasn't even oem so hundred dollar oem shaft fix here all right go ahead drop it in gear first all right so you can see our cv shafts here Tires turning, the shafts turning. Can I hit the gas a little bit? See, and if y'all can hear that, there's there's no pop in here, so that's a good thing. The tires turning. There we go. So everything's good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing down now. All right, y'all. So rolling along about 55 here. Everything sounds good, no popping. And I tell y'all, uh, if y'all are having this problem, well, if you'll notice, whenever, like right now, when there's tension on the drive shaft, like you're on the gas, whenever I let off the other morning, I thought the bitch was gonna come through the floorboard, it was so bad. But if y'all can see here, if I let off the gas, start to decelerate, just let it coast, there's no noise at all. And, um, and I am running along, I'm in sixth gear right now, so just cruising. But uh, anyway, I want y'all to kind of see this. I hope this helped y'all out if y'all are trying to figure this out. Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna po post this video. If y'all have any questions about anything, just drop them in the comment box. And um, as always, I'm Kay Reese, and I thank y'all for watching and supporting my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe.